is February 15, 2022. If you missed us yesterday, we are back. Um, you know, go, so go check out all the videos from yesterday, uh, that you might have missed. Uh, we, I posted six videos, uploaded six videos yesterday. We'll upload six videos again today. The rest of this month, we're going to try to upload at least six videos a day, three in the morning and three in the after, and three in the evening. Okay. So. Um, look out for two more videos after this one, and then in the after in the afternoon evening, you'll get three more videos uh, there as well as we try to catch up on all of the information. So some of the stuff is going to be older videos, but it, you might not have heard them. So it's actually new entity um, for the month of February. So I'll be ha I'll be posting um, some stuff on there uh, from other people as well and doing the intros for that um, continuation with TC's. Um, a series. We're going to try to complete that this week uh, so we can catch up on that uh, and all the other things that he's doing. The uh, uh, Conwell interview, um, part two out today, part three tomorrow. Um, and then we got uh, some other things that are going on. So, um, yeah. And then also uh, Benny's, uh, one of Benny Intel videos from um, from several weeks ago uh, that I never uh, talked about or posted. Uh, we'll, we'll post that as well this week. We'll have that out. Um, Shella will be back on Friday, so that video, her videos will be out on Saturday. If she does a, if she does a 20 minute video, then, then it'll be Saturday part one, um, part two will be out on Sunday. All right. And, uh, Dorsey, I'm not sure what Dorsey's doing. Um, he probably was, um, he probably got hit like I did. I think many people have been attacked on YouTube and, um, you know, uh, so maybe he got hit as well, uh, like like I did on YouTube. Uh, you know, things were taken down. I mean, my my this channel has been attacked like crazy. I don't even know how, how we're still here <laughs> after all the attack. At, at one point, we had three strikes, and and um, the channel was supposed to be uh, taken down, but God didn't allow it to happen, right? So the same thing with uh, ISO Media. We got three strikes several times. We've, we've had three strikes on on on. Um, an ISO media and the channel never gets taken down completely. So it just, it sits there and then it resets and then it comes back. Right. And so many other people's channels have been wiped out clean, uh, with zero strikes. Right. And so we've, we've had, we've had, we've been take, we've been taken down, taken down, taken down strikes, community guideline strikes, uh, strikes, copyright strikes, all types of strikes. And we're still here. So God wants us to be here, apparently. So, um, cause we could always just go on Patreon and everybody just go to Patreon, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And we have fun over there. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right. So let's get into this. Uh, we're talking about, uh, I did make a uh, post on my, uh, personal page. Do not read into it as a denarian. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself because he, I, I, I said it over and over again. Do not do that to yourself. Do not think everything's about the dinar, right? And so, but anyways, I'll, I'll be reading that on on um, Patreon. And also, we have some breaking news. Oh man, how is this gonna how is this gonna turn out now? We we got some breaking news out of Iraq this morning um, that we're gonna we're gonna talk about on Patreon. Man, oh man. Hmm, I gotta figure out. I, I, I'm maybe it's a good thing behind the scenes, but I don't know. I, I, I really think that. Uh, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about it here. Let's talk. We'll talk about it on Patreon. Breaking news out of Iraq. I'm gonna be on Patreon. Plus, we're gonna talk about my uh, my post that I made on my personal Facebook page. So, see you guys over there on Patreon uh, in a, in a little bit after this video, basically. Okay, so let's talk about the um, the Vietnamese dong, a uh, currency that, uh, you know, it's under communism and really can't really do much under communism. So we're going to need to see the communism, uh, you know, start to be removed from Vietnam, as Robin prophesied, uh, before we can actually see the Vietnamese dong come into uh, some type of wealth. So uh, hopefully that is very soon here. Um, with all the things that are going on around the world, hopefully that they, they are watching and saying, you know, we don't want to live like this. Um, okay, uh, so we got 1 million for 80 bucks, 82, 1 million for 80 bucks, 80 bucks, 80 bucks. Everything's around 79, 80 bucks there, uh, for 1 million, 500,000 for 50. Um, 
Okay, so we got uh, one million for eighty four. Have you noticed that prices are no longer in the seventies? That's pretty good. So eighty four, eighty eight. Well, they they, they were seventy nine, but you know, plus you know, shipping and everything else, it's eighty bucks. You know, 80, you round it up, seventy nine is eighty, basically eighty. And if you have shipping and handling, then it's a little bit different. Uh, ninety five for for the prices there, um, for one million there. Okay. Uh, the five hundred thousand for forty four. That's pretty okay. That, that's uh, that means that the uh one million is going for what eighty eighty nine. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, so the price of the Vietnamese dollar there goes ninety six dollars right there plus shipping and handle. You're looking at about a hundred dollars for uh one million Vietnamese dollar there. So Vietnamese dollar prices are not looking bad at all here. <laughs> looking really good. Uh, looking really good. Maybe, maybe there's getting, maybe it's getting harder to access the Vietnamese dom because of what's going on around the world. I don't know. But these prices are looking really good here. Um, and we want them to get even better. We want them, we want these prices to double or triple over these next few weeks here, you know, as many things are about to take place around the world and, and um, you know, and things are happening. We want to see the Vietnamese dong prices explode here. Um, okay, so that's what's going on. Vietnamese dong holding very strong right now. That's awesome to see. Some of you guys don't even have the Vietnamese dong. If you don't have the Vietnamese dong, put it in the comment section. Hey, I don't have the Vietnamese dong. That's mind blowing if you don't. But some a lot of you guys don't have the Vietnamese dong, or if you have on, if you have, let's say, let's say this: if you don't have the Vietnamese dong, put it in the conversation that you don't have the Vietnamese dong. And then number two, if you have a less than a million Vietnamese dong or a million, you have a million or less, put it in the conversation and say, I have a million or less, okay? Um, which is very weird, but um. But some people are new, right? Some people just found us, so maybe six months ago, three months ago, one month ago, two months ago. So you might not have the Vietnamese dong, right? And so, and maybe God didn't tell you to get the Vietnamese. God's not going to tell you to follow everything that we do, by the way. You, you, you're becoming your own central bank, right? So when we, when we're becoming our own central bank, we don't have to, we're not following what everybody else is doing. We're following, we're, we're, we're praying about it and we're asking God, what do I need? And, to, to become my own central bank. He might tell you, uh, go heavy on silver. Get a little gold. When I go 80% silver, 20% gold. Get some Indonesia. Get some South Korea. Get a little bit of, um, you know, uh, um, Iraqi dinar, right? And don't, don't touch the Vietnamese dong. He might tell you that. And then other person, he might say, go heavy on Vietnamese dong. Uh, get a little bit of dinar. Get a little bit of South Korea, get a little bit of Indonesia, you know, get a little bit of Zimbabwe, get, you know, and, and, and go heavy on, and go heavy on gold, get, get, um, and then go 30% on silver, 70% gold. God might tell everybody to do things differently because he knows your situation and your lifestyle and he knows your future. So he can see that these things will benefit you more than these things, okay? So I don't, you know, it's complicated, but that's why you have to be your own central banker. But as long as you have these things, you'll be in, you'll be in a good space. And it's very sad that people that literally have followed me for years and years and years are still asking questions of how do I become my own central banker? What do I need to prepare for what's coming? Are you really kidding me right now? <laughs> you know, there's just only 50,000 videos. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Cause they don't care. They believe their fantasy, their, their fan, their, their fake reality. They believe their fake reality. And they're going to get knocked outside the head when this thing ends, when their fake reality ends. And where and how do we know the fake reality is going to end? We look at the bond markets. We look at the debt market. When money starts to come out of the debt market, that's when everything's going to start to end, right? And so that's it. And Greg Man, thanks. Shout out to Greg Manarino because he's the one that that put that out there years ago, right? And so we know where to look. We 
All you have to do is when things are about to end for this financial system and things are going to crash at, at, at you know, uh, it's going to be a crash like we've never seen before in the history of mankind. It's all going to start not at the stock market, but at the bond market, at the debt market. Look at the debt market. Look at the derivatives. Look at the bonds. Look at the 10-year yield. Look at the, that's where the the uh, the crash is going to start. This is why people are like, oh, it's going to crash. Next and we look over there and it's like, nope, no, it's not. Nothing's coming out of the debt market, right? It's all going to crash with the with the, with the derivatives. The derivatives is going to cause the crash, you know, this what we're seeing now is is a is a pullback. These are pullbacks, healthy pullbacks, because the market has gone straight up over the last since uh since the um since uh twenty twenty right after we we, we went down to um what seventeen thousand eighteen thousand Dow. We've gone literally straight up. We've doubled, you know, a double. We we over. We've more than doubled our position since then, right? So. So the markets are coming back down because of world events and some other things, manipulation and Congress people dumping their money and you know, Fortune 500 company people that are about to get in trouble for all these things that they're doing behind the scenes. They're dumping their their shares as well, trying to run away and hide. We we understand that. So that's what's going on. And, of course, rumors of wars and all these things is happening as well. But it's just these are just corrections. This is not a crash yet, right? And so, uh, okay, so. And how we know? We just look at the debt market. Look at the bond derivatives debt market, and you'll see. Vietnamese down one million is seventy three bucks. Okay, so it's still seventy three there. Even though the prices are going up on eBay, here, it's still seventy three on Exchange of America. Okay, so uh, and many of you guys said that your banks do not sell the Vietnamese dong anymore. Many of these currencies are going to no longer be sold because we're going to be in this transitioning period now. Um, speaking of transitioning period, how about XRP, right? And so, um, yeah, the court case, uh, could make XRP the only crypto asset with regulatory clarity in the United States. And this is going to be interesting. Now, of course, once the case is over it, with a, either an XRP winning or a settlement, um, because the SEC is, is screwed now. At the X XRP was able to find their golden key, their golden opportunity, right? By with those memos and those memos showing that that the SEC had favoritism towards Ethereum and Bitcoin to not name them securities, but but then coming out to XRP to name it a security, uh, you know, um, even though they had allowed XRP to be on Coinbase and other uh, big exchanges and, and financial institutions to carry XRP, telling them that XRP was not a security at that time, right? And so and giving uh, giving Ethereum and Bitcoin a favorable pass for being being securities also ripple shares sold out ahead of the uh, key events in the xrp lawsuit so ripple actually has um i think Rep ripple's actually having shares they're going to actually go onto the stock market as well so xrp ripple Ripple's going to have shares, and XRP's the coin, and Ripple's going to be having shares, right? Ripple Labs is the, is the company, and XRP is their crypto coin, and Ripple is going to hold have shares on, I think, NASDAQ maybe, um, the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P 500. They're, gonna, they're going to, uh, I think they're doing a uh, IPO, and um, they're going to be having shares on there, on the uh on stock market at some point. This is going to be big. This is going to be big, right? Um, and I, I, I've already made statements m months and months and money months ago that I thought this case, uh, matter of fact, this time last year when it was all going down, I said, we're not going to see anything from the XRP SEC case until first quarter of 2022, at least the first quarter of 2022. Now, they could drag it to the second quarter. But uh, I was saying that the you know this time last year I was telling you guys why everybody was saying oh the case is not going to take that long I was like first quarter 2022 <laughs> it's gonna we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait this is this is gonna be we're gonna have to drag this out right it's an opportunity to to, to just continue to to uh, to load Ripple though and, and to uh, get as much as you can by the time the case is over 
But um, but I did tell you guys first quarter of 2022. We are in the first quarter of 2022. The case could end at any moment, um, you know. Uh, and uh, because of those memos, XRP did find their golden key, right? So, uh, okay. So we'll talk about that on the VIP video. So I haven't done any VIP videos because we were sh- we were shadowed, right? So we'll, we'll have a bunch of VIP videos out this week uh, for you VIP members. Um, at least, at least we might have like, I'm going to do something with, I'm going to, uh, do a video, uh, a couple of videos with, uh, about Julie's prophecies, uh, um, a quick video. These are be, these will be quick videos. So you guys aren't there for long, but we'll do one with XRP today. Prophet of Solomon said, said something about XRP. I want you guys to hear that. Um, and, um, so we'll do something with XRP, uh, Prophet Robin, a couple of videos about Prophet with Prophet Robin uh, statements that you, a lot of you guys probably missed because a lot of you, there's so many there's so many people out here that you guys listen to that you you guys might miss some of these things. So uh, I'll uh, we'll we'll talk about some of the stuff like that and then Julie stuff as well and then um yeah and then maybe I'll also um, talk about my um I'll also do a quick video on my. Uh, Facebook posts as well. So, bunch of videos for the VIP members coming out this week. Uh, at least five, you know, okay? So, <laughs> we'll be knocking them out this week to catch up on the shadow ban and the darkness that we were in. All these I was in. All right. So, uh, moving on from there, let's uh, get to the other four things that are here, if we can. Um, let me see here. I think I waited so long that the these things need to... Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, so Florida uh, politics website, DeSantos. Uh, 61% of Florida independents have a favorable opinion on DeSantos, DeSantis, or whatever his name is. Um, okay, so cool. Uh, they will be coming after him, by the way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, because he's doing I think he's doing a great job in Florida, and they don't like it. The cabal don't like that. So they will be coming after him um, in many ways to try to defame him. It's not going to work, though. But, but they will try. They're going to try to uh, take this, take you know, because he's doing a great job in Florida, as you can see. So then they don't like that at all. And so they're going to try to, they always, what, what, they, what do people always do to try to take you out? They always try to defame you and put out stupid rumors and lies about you and things like that. So they'll bring women in to you and say, he did this to me. You know what I mean? So that we all know the script, man. This is why when they, when we see the script happen every time, people still fall for that stuff. It's like, God, haven't you seen this over the last 30 years of your life or 40, 50 years of your life? They do the same exact thing and you keep falling for it. Oh, no, 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 this time is different. He, he, it's like, really? And then, and then the next guy comes up. They do the exact same thing for the next politician or the next Hollywood guy or the next uh, person that's that's trying to bring freedom to America. And they do the exact same thing with the exact same women, number of women, and the guy or or or, or a situation. And the people say, no, this time is different. For it's like you said that last time. Everybody's everybody everybody is the same thing, and you keep saying it's different. <laughs> Just continuing to fall for the lies of the beast system and the, and the image of the beast. Wake up, folks. It's not different. It's the same thing they've been doing forever. <laughs> you know, defaming people, making up stories about people. It's the same thing they do for everybody. And some of y'all still sit up there and be like, no, it's different this time because this. this. No, it's not. They're going to do the same thing to Kim Kardashian. They're going to do the same thing to everybody because that's all they know is to do the exact same thing because you guys keep falling for it every time. Oh, and Shiba Burn um, is launching a crypto today. Not Shiba Inu or anything. This is a this this is a company um, that's that's dedicated to burning Shiba tokens, and so they're creating they're they're launching a new coin um, that's going to have a utility that burns Shiba Inu in the millions and billions. I think they're I think they're actually gonna be burning in the billions. Uh because they were burning thirty three they were the ones that were burning at thirty three million coins every other day or every day. And then they, they, they started to switch they switched their name and then they switched their token and so now the new token's coming out today uh at at, at seven thirty, eight thirty uh PM UTC time. So that's probably like two two thirty to three o'clock uh Eastern 
Eastern and Standard Time. So just watch their tweet. You can go to their Twitter here. Here's their Twitter. Um, and, uh, watch for the launch. Here's their contracts. You don't really don't need to watch anything. Just, you can just put the contract in there. And, uh, once it go live, then you'll be able to swap for it on Pancake Swap with some BNB or whatever. I'm not sure. Sh- oh, this is ERC20. So you got to use Ethereum. Okay. So they're going to be on the Ethereum platform, ERC20. So you just have some Ethereum, put the contract in on your MetaMask. Uh, and then should be able to pull up the, uh, the coin and then, and then you can, um, you know, swap for it on Pancake Swap or something like that. Uh, you're going to need to put the contract in on P- Pancake Swap as well. Connect your wallet and then put the contract in on Pancake Swap and you should pull, pull up and then you can swap with ETH, uh, for the coin if you want the coin. But, uh, the whole thing about this project is to burn Shiba Inu, okay, by the billions. So this is exciting, all right? So they're going to be start. They're going to be burning Shiba Inu by the hundred million to the billions, uh, and this is going to be awesome. All right, uh, and we had a big burn yesterday, right? Two hundred some from uh, Stephen Cooper, and uh, and today's supposed to be a five hundred million dollar burn today. Um, so we also had a twenty three million dollar burn and some other burns. I mean, some big burns. Just a three hundred million burn. Uh, and the tokens were burned yesterday. Um, over three hundred million, I, I believe. And today's supposed to be a five hundred million burn. So you know, Shiba's doing the thing. Justin Trudeau invokes emergencies um, act in response to the ongoing protests. It's the first time ever in Canada history uh, of a of this type of emergency okay in Canadian history um he he uh it's not going to end well for him let's just say that i don't want to get off i don't want you to take me down again it's not going to end and for those that are Justin Trudeau fans it's not going to end well for him <laughs> i'm sorry go go cry somewhere else for your uh for your fake idols uh, of the of the of the um of the cabal B system. Uh Russia says it return uh it returns uh some troops to base in the area of Ukraine. Once this came out to the media, um the markets went up. The you know, futures markets went went up. Crypto started to rip up. So um you know like I said before, Russia is not going to do what the media says it's going to do. They're going to do it a different way. Didn't I say that over the weekend? Whatever the media is saying, Russia's not going to do. It's, they're going to do it a different way. Okay? So, and it might be a quiet invasion at that. It might be. It might be a quiet invasion. Now, of course, they once they invade, everybody's going to know, but it's going to be too late. But it could be a quiet invasion because they're going to... Hit you with this all this fake news stuff in the media, and then they're going to go the back way. We talked about that already. All right, I think I'm done here. Peace out before I get kicked off of YouTube. Like I'm literally one, I'm literally like one statement away from YouTube saying enough. <laughs> you know, um, but it is what it is. We're not going to live in fear. We're just going to. I'm just going to give you guys what I have. Uh, so. We're going over to Patreon next, and uh, we got breaking Iraq news on Patreon, and also we're going to go over my um, my post on uh, on my personal page. Peace out, God bless. I'll see you guys over on Patreon. Bye. And plus, we're going to do stocks and cryptos as well, charts, and see what's going on. It's Green Day, so I know the people are happy about that. When when the markets are green, the stocks are green, and cryptos are green, everybody's in a good mood. So it's a Tuesday. Peace out, God bless. Bye.